So guys, here's the robot from the last video. It looks a lot more different because we changed up all the wiring and we got a new Arduino on it. This are the Arduino Nano from our older videos, you guys saw them. Before we were using the Arduino Mega with the sensor shield. Now this thing is massive compared to the Arduino Nano. You can see how much space it takes up and you also notice that I have this up here. This is an IMU MPU 6050, we've made some videos on it before. And I want to try to use this and a couple other things to make this robot look better, work better and in general work better for this robot in this part i have a lot of explaining to do so we'll start off with a clip of the wiring so guys here's the robot and i 3d printed the stand for it and i'm gonna be using an arduino nano to code this and to make it work with arduino nano i previously was going to use this arduino mega with this mega sensor shield but it's way too big and it's way too heavy as well so this with the nano is going to be hopefully more lighter and I'll be able to walk better and I'm also using a 6 volt LiPo battery so you can use that as well after we're done connecting the Arduino Nano on we have to extend each of these wires because there's no header pins for this to go on and I'm not using a PCB to make it easier for you guys to understand so we take a wire and we extend each of these wires now these wires are a little bit big you can use smaller wires you don't need really long wires in this one and see how it's really loose. I'm gonna be gluing the wires on with this glue gun right here. But I'll show you that in a second. Let me just explain this wiring real quick. This wire comes here, and just like that, I prefer to use different colors on each wire so you can tell the difference between them and you don't get confused. After we connect these three wires on, we connect this brown wire. So you can see the brown wire goes up and connects to the black one. This is the GND. So the GND on this, there's gonna be two GNDs. One is right here. We're gonna be using this one for now and then connect it right here. The middle one, the red wire, is extended to this white one, and this white wire is the 5V. The 5V is right there on this side, you can see it right there. And this last one is the source pin. The source pin goes on one of the digital pins, and I'll explain to you guys what that does. Now the digital pin kind of tells you what servo it is. So this is going to be servo 1, 2, 3. So servo number 1 is going to go on digital pin number 2. So technically whatever servo it is, just add a number to that and that's the digital pin I'll go on to. So this is servo 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now the one we're doing is 10. So that's going to be 10 plus 1 is 11 then this wire is going to go on to digital pin number 11 and digital pin number 11 is right here there like that so that is technically one servo done you can realize that there's 12 servo motors that there's only two pins on the GND and two pins on the 5V a solution to this is to get a wire from your GND I'll use a black one over here and you use this GND wire now you extend it somewhere on the second breadboard. Now that you've seen the wiring, it's time to get the robot to walk. So I've uploaded the code already without the MPU6050 because I couldn't get that to work. Don't worry, there's a part 3 coming. Speaking of part 3, the part 1 is already in the description and yeah, let's get to walk. Over here we have a 6 volt LiPo battery. You can see the wiring is, is going all the way down to this. This is the battery. It's 5 AA batteries that are rechargeable of course. And we get the GND wire which is connected to this common GND which is going through the whole robot and we're connecting on the black wire over here and there. You can see it walks with a slight tilt to either side whenever it takes a step. That's not good. Now compared to our previous robots it's working a lot better. Except the one problem is I have the MPU6050 on it right now but it's not doing anything and I need that to work. So I'll turn it off real quick. Here's the robot, it's really heavy, so I 3D printed a stand for it. There's gonna be a few more things coming out. Now to make this robot work better, this is an RGB LED. It turns red, green, blue, purple, white. The RGB LED is gonna go on either side of the MPU 6050. I'll be using 330 ohm or 220 ohm resistors. Right now I have 330 ohm resistors on me right now. This LED is going to be turning in different colors and it's gonna go right here. It'll make the robot look much cooler. So guys, now it's time to explain the wiring about the RGB LED. So here's our RGB LED. And if you look behind it, we have three resistors and one jumper wire. I'll start off with the jumper wire. This jumper wire comes all the way back here. This jumper wire is connected 
over here. This one right there where my tweezers are. This is where the jumper wire is connected. See this black wire? This black wire goes all the way up here and connects down to the GND that's down there. So this is the GND that is going to the RGB LED. The GND is on the longer pin. Now the three resistors. This resistor is connected to this yellow wire. This resistor is connected to the white wire. And this resistor is connected to this black wire over here. Now these three wires go back here to analog pin number one, two, and three. Four and five are being used by the IMU, which I haven't figured out yet. Okay guys, here's the robot. The LED's here. It's in a walk with the LED on. Now the code that you see right now is the same code we used before, except we added the code for the LED on it. The code will be in the description, but for the next part, I'm going to be redesigning the body. I've already redesigned it. It's printing right now, but it'll take a while to print, so that'll be next part. I'll be getting rid of the top four servos, so these four, as they create a lot of gear backlash. You move it a little bit from the top and the bottom servo moves a lot more. And the only thing that's holding the whole leg on is just the shaft of the servo. Therefore, I'm going to be removing it and I won't have to ever come back to this extra servo. It doesn't serve much of a purpose and I couldn't get the IMU to work with this servo. With that being said, I'll show you with the LED code. So you pick up the robot, put the wire thingy down, the battery, put the wire in, and just like that, the LED turns on, and the walking code is pretty much the same thing as before. It walks a little bit slower because the delays are being a little bit more extended because of the LED. Each LED blink has a 50 millisecond delay between it, and there's about two delays in each step, so that's about 100 milliseconds. It's not that much, but it looks a lot more right now. For those of you that are new in this video, part one will be in the description of this video, so go check part one out, and, and we'll see you guys on Friday.